Pretending goal in hockey is like walking a tightrope in the crosshairs of a rifle. It takes acrobatic skill and laser-like focus. In a game played at blazing speed on a frozen sheet of ice, no player in sports matters more to his team than the armored sentinel protecting the crease and guarding the goal. You have to be courageous. And you have to be skilled and you have to be, have uh, absolute razor sharp reflexes. And you have to be uh, in the best condition of any kind of athlete. Probably still is considered the toughest job in sports. Being a goaltender is unique in that you're very much in a team sport and you're a puzzle piece to how that team performs, but you're in your own world too. It is an incredibly individual pursuit within a team sport. There are a few better examples of that than the 1994 Stanley Cup Finals. In Game 4, Canucks sharpshooter Pavel Bure drew a rare penalty shot that could have tilted the series toward Vancouver. Carrying more than a half century of franchise futility on his shoulders, Rangers goalie Mike Richter saved the day and the series with one kick, a feat of flexibility, strength, and timing, and New York soon took home the cup. I knew when I stuck out my leg, um, I got all of it. I, I, it hit me hard. Um, ooh, what a fantastic feeling. It was almost as if uh, it was choreographed out of a goaltending textbook. He knew what he was doing from the moment Bore came in on him to the time that he made the save. And he simplified something that was a very, very challenging moment. It was actually the turning point in the series. The history of goaltending is a collage of personality and style. There have been stand-up goalies and guys who use a two-pad stack. Some are simply unique. Everybody who plays goal successfully follows certain fundamentals. They center on the puck, they focus on the puck, they get their body in front of the puck in the most efficient manner possible. Hall of Famer Terry Sawchuk set the record for regular season shutouts by contorting to see all the angles. Canadians great Ken Dryden used his head like none other and won six Stanley Cups, the most of all time. Patrick Waugh elevated the butterfly style to new heights of victory. And the acrobatic Dominic Hasek turned the flop into dominant success. Then there's devil stalwart Martin Brodeur, a three-time cup winner in New Jersey, who's won more games than any goaltender in NHL history with a hybrid style and ice water in his veins. Well, Marty is an anomaly in the sense that he's as relaxed as any goaltender that I've ever seen. He loves to play and he doesn't consider it onerous the way some of the others do. Brodeur may have been the picture of cool between the pipes, but some goaltending greats have protected the goal by projecting an attitude. Ron Hexel, one of my favorites because he was a belligerent goalie. I always liked goalies who liked to fight, tough guys. Billy Smith of the Islanders was like that, and Billy Smith won uh, four straight cups, partly because of that attitude. And <laughs> Hextall had attitude to the nth degree. Ultimately, whether a goalie protects with pugnacity or panache, with flying feet or a gifted glove, their ranks have been staffed by some of the most daring and dedicated athletes in sports. The game, not always, but often rests on, on your performance. And it's constantly uh, you know, mental and physical stress and then time to release. And that's something you, you learn as you get older, and if you don't, you have real trouble. The best goal I ever saw was Glenn Hall. He once told me, that I said, what, how, do you, how would you describe goaltending? He says, goaltending is 60 minutes of hell. <laughs> I said, why do you do it? He says, it's a good living. 